everybody. It's Crystal Ann Compton. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. In this video, I'm going to be answering a question from one of my viewers. And I selected this question because, well, first of all, I get asked this question a lot. And second, because I know probably a lot of you are wondering the same thing. So this question comes from Cody Pierce, who asks, are certain people more inclined to be spiritual healers? And if so, how can you tell? Again, great question. The short answer, Cody and everyone else, is yes. Certain people are inclined to be healers insofar as they actually built this purpose into their soul blueprint. They came to this planet at this time in Earth's history to heal what they could. And they brought with them the tools and the resources they would need at such time that their healing would be activated. And so if this is a certain skill set or a certain understanding, certain knowledge, info, or connection, they brought that with them into this life. They came here to be healers. And when you think about it, it makes a lot of sense because we need healing on this planet right now. Humanity, the consciousness of humanity needs a healing. The animal kingdom needs this healing. And so healers are needed and healers are showing up. Absolutely. Your second question was, if so, how can you tell? How can you tell if you're a healer? Well, there are, well, there are three things that I can offer. The first being the most important. To know that you're a healer, like if you were born to do this work, you will have a heart for healing and service. It doesn't even have to be a certain kind of healing like medical healing or Reiki healing. It's just a desire to help where you can or to be a blessing where you can. And so in many ways, you are a healing when you show up into a space because it's on your heart to serve this way. Another way to know whether you're a healer is to check out your psychic abilities. We talk about the four primary clairs a lot. That's clairvoyance, clairaudience, claircognizance, and then last but not least, clairsentience. And we want to talk about clairsentience. Clairsentience is the psychic ability to feel spirit messages and spirit promptings through the instrument of your physical body. This is where people say, I'm trusting my gut. They are literally trusting messaging that's coming through the area of their abdomen. Sometimes we receive messages through our heart. Our heart will skip a beat or there'll be a little flutter because we're receiving a yes or maybe even a no. I tend to receive clairsentiently in the area of my throat. If I should say something or if I should act in a certain way or if it's a yes for me, I'll feel like this flutter in my throat. That's a clairsentient message coming through. I'm feeling that. The reason I'm focusing on clairsentience is because healers tend to be clairsentient. They tend to have show up in their own physical body, spirit messages and promptings. And also they feel, they can physically feel the desire to be helpful or physically feel the pain of somebody else or physically feel the weight of somebody's grief or fear. They can feel that in themselves. And that's one of the reasons they seek to heal it. Now also healers tend to be empaths and empaths are usually always clairsentient. Now an empath is somebody who can take in the energy of others and also read the energy of others. And additionally, in their healing nature, they can transmute or help to transmute the energy of others. One of the reasons that empaths become so overwhelmed is because there are so many others. <laughs> There's so many people. And empaths can pick up on the energy and the feelings and the conditions of these people. And there's also many animals. And empaths can actually key in on and pick up the energy of animals, not to mention plants and even rocks. I mean, empaths, when they are expanded in their nature, they can pick up on all of this energy because they are a part of it. In order to not be burned out as an empath or as a healer, you have to know when to let things go or when to take in energy in order to heal it or transmute it and then release it. Too many empaths aren't empowered in their empathic nature and that's why they struggle. But empaths tend to always be clairsentient and healers tend to usually be empaths who are always clairsentient. So there's a, there's a thread you see that connects clairsentience to healing and empathy to healing. They tend to go hand in hand. So that's another way. So if you know you're an empath, eh, 
I wouldn't be surprised if you were a healer. If you know you're strong in clairsentience, I would not be surprised if you also had healing ability. Last but not least is just a little exercise I run people through when they wonder if they have healing ability. And if you're wondering whether you have healing ability, go through this with me right now. I want you to look at your palm. Okay, bring out your right palm and I want you to focus right there in the center of your palm. And as you're focusing on the center of your palm, I want you to send all of your energy, your awareness, and indeed your consciousness to the location of your palm. Just send the energy there. Now, if you are a healer, it is likely you started feeling something in your palm before I even finished the first or second sentence of that exercise. You were feeling an energetic activation of some kind, or maybe what you felt was the sense of presence or almost a weighted type of an energy like this, something was happening in this area, maybe even a warmth or a heat started to show up on your palm. Healers have open, strong, and connected palm chakras. Here again, this makes sense. When you see doctors healing people, they literally touch them, they look at them with their hands nurses as well. When you see Reiki practitioners, you see them running their hands over the energy fields of other people in order to adjust them. When you see energy practitioners who do things like adjustments or attunements, they often deliver these channeled attunements through their outstretched hands and through their palms. This is a common way to transmit healing energy. And if you are a healer, you're going to have activity right here in these palm chakras. So to recap, the intention. The intention is there to serve, to heal in any way that you can, and to be a blessing. And also, clairsentience and empathy is very connected to the healing ability. And last but not least, these alive palm chakras. If you felt something there, especially if you felt it quickly, it is likely you have healing abilities. Thank you, Cody, for such a great question. Thanks everybody for watching this video. Please like, please share, and please subscribe. And until our next video, you know I got nothing but love for you, right? I hope so.